LuckyGunner.com works hard to stock ammo to ship today and take care of their customers. They've stood by us all in this ammo crisis and earned my business time and time again. They ship immediately, often same day, so give them your next ammo order. Kind of understand this, guys, right? You ha do not have the ability to control recoil. None of us do, all right? Bob Vogel, if you're familiar with him, can crush a number three Captains of Crush, which is 400 pounds. There's like six dudes in the world that can do it. He cannot stop the gun from recoiling. Neither can we. I highly encourage you guys to let recoil happen and fix it after, okay? There's nothing wrong with, especially in zeroing, letting the gun recoil. Take that equation out where recoil is something you need to fight. Only focus on your trigger press. Only focus on your trigger press, okay? Okay, same thing for you. Same thing for you, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead, step back. We're gonna shoot another three round group. Shift your focus to the square, superimpose the dot over it, focus on the target, press three perfect rounds. Up. All right, everyone in the holster, let me see your hands, please. Perfect, downrange. It is very important that you understand guns are only zeroed for the person shooting them, okay? Especially us coming out of the military where we're told, no, that gun's zeroed, the armor is zeroed, gun. it's good to go. That is total crap. We all see the dot differently. You don't see the dot the way I see the dot, I'm guessing. And same with you, you don't see it how he sees it, I don't see it how you see it, you don't see it how he sees it, okay? It's a spatial relationship and a visual relationship between multiple factors, okay? So you have to understand the gun is zeroed for you. So he is shooting one of John's guns, right? Oh, it's my gun. It's your gun, but John zeroed it. Yeah, he fucked it up. John zeroed it and the zero is off for him and his ammo combination. And it's clearly off because he's stacking rounds on top of each other. So for his fundamentals, Right, and why do we zero? Because we put our input into the gun. So for his fundamentals, that gun's not zeroed. If I tried to zero his gun, it may still not be zeroed for him. Right, the guns must be zeroed for the shooter. This is pretty common. We now all of a sudden, our body knows what recoil feels like. And now we want to stop it from happening. I need you to disconnect a little bit from your gun. Just a little bit, okay? Let that dot float, let's tighten it up. Perfect trigger presses, okay? 10 yard line, guys. If you need to make any adjustments at this time, go ahead and make them. Everyone else, everyone else, look at the target, superimpose the dot over the square, okay? See what that looks like. Get a feel for what that looks like. Return to a ready position of your choosing. Guys, at this time, at this time, present your guns to the target. Visually shift your focus to the square. Let the dot bounce on my command of up. Give me three perfect rounds. Ready? Up. Let me see your hands once we're holstered. Excellent, downrange. So you've really got to plug in, and that's what I mean about being all in on this dot life. You've got to shoot everything with a target focus for like the rest of your lives, right? Or at least your time on a dot gun to really maximize the effectiveness. Now I'm not saying dudes can't look at the dot and be effective shooters. You can, but you will never be as effective as a shooter than someone who knows how to shoot the dot correctly. It will open up tons of, of new things to you. Understand this, right? When we focus on the dot, our world shrinks to the dot. When I see the dot, right, but I am focused on the target, my processing ability grows huge. Huge epiphanies for guys, and it was for me. Uh, another firearms instructor back in the day said, hey man, you gotta see the brass flying out of your gun. And I was like, 
bro, you crazy. I don't know what you're on, but uh-uh, I ain't seeing brass. I got this little bumpy thing out there. That's what I'm watching. Until the first time I saw the brass fly out of the gun. And I was like, oh my goodness. I can see this over here. I can see targets over here. It's amazing. That's what the dot gives us. It gives us the ability to see all the things, right? Instead of one tiny little thing. Okay, let's go back, let's shoot a little bit more. This is the kind of stuff you need to do in order to get to like our effective dot gun stuff to get to perform with the gun because this sets the tone. If I, you know, what's, what, what's one of the huge benefits of the dot? Speed and accuracy at distance. If your gun is not zeroed, I don't care how precise you think you are capable of being, you ain't gonna hit what you're shooting at. At this time, at this time, if you need to make any corrections, go ahead and grab your guns, present them to the target, and make any corrections you need. I have a little toolie thingy here. Shift your focus to the square on the target. Superimpose the dot over it. Press three perfect trigger presses. Does everyone kind of understand the zeroing process, right? When I told you guys who ha might use 25 yard zeros that we were gonna zero at 10 yards, you were probably like, yeah, cause this dude can't shoot. And then you shot a one inch square at 10 yards and you're like, hey man, that's kind of hard. Like I don't, <laughs> I'm not sure I really care for this anymore, uh, right? The guns are very capable of doing it. I find it very easy. The nice thing about 10 yard zeros is I can literally do it everywhere. If you're at a indoor range, every indoor range has 10 yards. If you're blessed to have an outdoor range, right? You can, you can do it at 10 yards, go out to 25, verify it, go out to 50 and verify it if you want, right? It opens up a lot of options for you. The key is you have to have a realistic expectation of precision. One inch square at 10 yards is realistic especially now that we have this awesome technology on our belt that makes us like superhuman, okay? Uh, if, if we understand how to use it, okay? So I hope what you got out of this class was a lot of information on uh, deciding on maybe which red dot is right for you and maybe how to get your red dot set up for you in the future. Uh, many of you normally, uh, when we do this class, not many people have their own red dot guns. So some of you are already married to a platform. Hopefully I gave you something that you can consider for your platform. Understand this, if you are about that life, if you are about that red dot life, you need to be about that red dot life, okay? You have got to understand how to shoot and utilize this system to the best of its abilities because it will open up whole new worlds for you as a shooter at any level. This will open up your decision-making ability because it opens up your processing speed will be far greater than a dude locked into iron sight shooting if he shoots them like a traditional iron sighted shooter, okay? Um, so. Thank you guys for coming out to my class. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything I can do for you, you can always get a hold of me uh, at practicalperformance.org. Probably the easiest way to get a hold of me. Instagram, uh, Facebook, whatever social media platform I'm on, all of them. Please feel free to contact me in the future if you have any questions, comments, uh, things you don't know or things you're interested in about red dots. More than happy to help out.